Hey folks, welcome to part 6 of manual testing interview question series. Let's begin. First question is what is sanity testing? Sanity testing is a subset of regression testing. After receiving the software build, sanity testing is performed to ensure that the code changes made are working as expected. This testing is a checkpoint to determine whether we are good to proceed with the testing or not. If the sanity testing fails, the build is rejected by the testing team. There is slight confusion between sanity testing and smoke testing. But san the difference is whenever you get any bug fixes or any new feature deployed to your environment, that is where you will do sanity testing on that particular portion of the application and whenever you get a build you will check the entire application if it is working fine or not just in, in a high level you will make sure that if all the uh, major features or functionality of an application is working fine or not that is what smoke testing is so this major difference is important because most of them gets confused between these two going ahead what does entry criteria and exit criteria mean? Entry criteria gives the prerequisite items that must be completed before testing can begin. Uh, so for an example, requirement document. Okay, before uh, we see the example completely, we will see what is exit criteria as well. Exit criteria defines the items that must be completed before testing can be concluded. For example, test plan or test case. Here, entry criteria is something which we refer to write and progress on something and finish it off. So, entry here the entry criteria is the requirement document and the exit criteria is test plan for an example. But this requirement document itself is in uh, a... a entry criteria for test cases as well right so there are multiple things that we are uh, we will refer so uh, this process is called as entry criteria and exit criteria going ahead what is prototype model and when it is used prototype is a dummy working model of a product usually built for demonstration purposes or as part of development process this model is used when the customers do not know the exact requirements of the product in this model a prototype of the end product is first developed tested and refined as per the customer feedback so as I have mentioned it is a dummy working model it is not a real model okay and with this model new requirements can be easily accommodated as there is scope for refinement. The very uh, minute uh, differentiation is this is dummy model which is not exact model that whatever uh, we work on okay it just only for the customer's demonstration purpose we will prepare this prototype and then once the uh, client says this looks good then we will start developing that product but the major disadvantage of this product is suppose you have uh, you know lack of resources or lack of time at that time this prototype model doesn't suit and also it is little time consuming but whenever we don't have a particular or clear requirement that is where it is best suited for what are the advantages of automation testing so these basic questions can be asked during the manual testing interview question as well so you, it is better to understand why automation testing is important and what are the advantages increase in test coverage test coverage it provides great accuracy because we are using the tool which is more accurate it gives more accurate result than the human it is a cost saving reduces regression time okay majorly um, 
automation testing uh, test cases will be automated only for the majorly majorly for the regression testing and smoke testing time saving reusability of test scripts okay so going ahead what are the important fields while logging a defect some uh, you might be using different tools like jira or uh, other tools like bugzilla as per that whatever fields that you will use it is better to have a check on that and it will um, while logging a defect what are the things that you mention will be asked okay and uh, also another question could be that how do you confirm that that is particularly before logging a defect that is defect how do you confirm that it is a defect one thing is you have to make sure that it is reproducible that defect is occurring you know continuously or intermittently okay that you have to confirm before logging the defect summary description environment cvrdt priority steps to reproduce actual result expected results and the proof proof is like screenshot how did you reproduce it what is the error that you are seeing on the screen all that can be uh, you know for the reference purpose we can attach the screenshot or video what is exploratory testing exploratory testing is a hands on approach in which testers are involved in minimum planning but maximum test execution which means that the planning will be very less but you will execute the test cases as much as possible exploratory testing is about exploring finding out about the software what it does what it doesn't do what works and what doesn't work this is an approach that is most useful when there are no or poor specification and when time is severely limited suppose you are given with an application since you don't know what is that application what you have to perform first what you will do is you will explore the application by performing some of the random testing correct that is what uh, exploratory testing is suppose you don't suppose you are enhancing a feature okay of that particular uh, application at that time you have to understand what is the current behavior and what we can uh, new changes that we can accommodate right at that time also this exploratory testing is best suitable what is build a build is basically a new version of the program where the source code of the new changes or bug fixes are deployed into the test environment suppose if you uh, get any new updates or bug fixes you will get this version new version uh, while using any application you might notice that you will get a pop up saying that this application has been updated and then just click on update it will update the new version right you might be seeing uh, in the about section about uh, application at that uh, bottom of that screen you will be able to see some version of the application okay suppose if they fix something or if they add new feature and they upgrade it that version will be displayed in that screen for example this is how the structure looks like suppose one developer has a particular piece of code he has developed and other developer also has developed his feature and then it will be built and then it will be tested that build will be tested in the lower environments and all that will be finally released and what is database this is also a basic uh, question that uh, uh, as a manual tester it is good to understand a database is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in computer system it helps in storing accessing and managing the data so it usually looks like this cylindrical structure it is represented in the cylindrical shape it usually stores the data 
and we can fetch the data from the database and we can store it back or uh, we can process that data this whole process can be managed or maintained by the database this is all for part 6 stay tuned <music>